beautiful souls how are you guys doing it is your girl Jalissa, and i am here to give you a new pick a card reading bless welcome back my ogs so happy to have you and if anyone here is new welcome home grab your chair grab your blankie grab your tea because i have a forecast for you all right so we're gonna go into today what you can expect next with your person i'm gonna pull a lot of different energies i'm gonna pull your person's energy feelings thoughts and on um, what's going on as well as yours and we're gonna see what's next in your connection all right so i'm gonna show you three different cards and then i'm gonna display it here on the screen for you to stare at pile one we have here the waning moon all right so that's your card pile one we got a confirmation. So notifications are confirmation here on my channel. So if you hear a bleep, a bling, a bloom, all right, that's confirmation of what I just said. All right, so part two, this is your card. We got half and half. And then part three, this is your card. And this is bottled up. All right, so now I'm going to display it here on the screen for you to stare at. Bless. Um, if you're new, do consider subscribing and hitting that bell button so you get notified for future readings. If you are a returning viewer, I hope you have the bell button on so that you're notified when I post next. Bless. All right, so while you're meditating over these cards, I'm going to give a quick PSA. I'm doing um, a rebrand here on the channel, okay? There's a lot of changes happening, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. So we're going to keep the pick of cards as that is one of my babies. We're also going to do horoscopes and we're going to do a few other things. So just, you know, surf my wave as I set the wave. Thank you so much. And um, guys, personal readings, well, private personal readings are closed as of right now till further notice only because i need a little time to get stable and acclimate with all the changes okay so give me some time i will reopen those private personal readings for everyone to join so till then on tuesdays and thursdays i have officially made these two days my live days i will be going live on tuesdays and thursdays to do personal readings on live i do have a system i came up with to um protect everyone's name i'm gonna do a number type of order with the personal readings so the personal readings it's 25 dollars. it's considered a donation thank you so much all right and the way you would pay would be via cash app or um paypal and that will lock you in as far as the slots. I'm also going to provide my email for you guys to email me your question. And it's one question reading, okay? Unless you want more than one question and therefore there would be a different rate. And I'm going to add all that information in another video. I'm going to do another video prior to Tuesday. So stay tuned if you want to join my personal readings on Tuesdays and thursday i want to make sure i do everyone's reading because sometimes some people fall asleep waiting for their reading on live so i want to make sure that i'm able to honor everyone who joins me for the personal reading so there's going to be a different system and i'll explain that further in another video all right so stay tuned for that now aside from that i do have a spiritual store guys i have new soaps i have new candles check it out i am rebranding everything so check out my shop my shop is listed in the description down below you will enjoy 25 percent off this month your entire order okay so anything you want you're gonna get 25 percent off of that yes i do ship internationally so if you're not in the u.s that is totally fine i will ship to you too Bless. <laughs> um, I have candles, mist, baths, divination tools, crystals, decks. I have three decks right now on my website. And anything else? There's so much. Go check it out. I have 5,000 plus five-star reviews. 
check out the testimonies. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported and has left their review and their testimony on my shop. I really, really, really appreciate that so much. I love you, baby. Bless. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's that. And what else, guys? What else? By the way, if you're new, timestamps for each pile is listed in the description down below. All right, so right below this video, there's a description. Click it, drop it down, and you'll see a timestamp next to your pile number. Bless. So you could just click on that timestamp, and it'll take you right over to your reading. You don't have to search, and, you know, I save you that time, okay? Um, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? I love you. I love you. And oh, it's March. I have to announce the winner for February. All right. So guys, if you didn't know, I have a monthly raffle that I, I, I do. Okay. So this is my way of saying thank you for being part of my channel. And also this is a way of me blessing someone because I feel so, so blessed by the universe and I want to pass that blessing forward. So the way I do this is by giving a free reading and a free box full of goodies from my shop. All you have to do to be part of this raffle is subscribe hit the bell button, and comment on at least one video per month because I choose my winners randomly through the comments. Okay, random video, random comments. The more you comment, the more chances you have to win. And I do ship, again, internationally. So if you're not in the U.S., that's fine. You could still participate, okay? <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. I love you so much. And if you have any issues choosing intuitively your pile, and you could be guided to more than one pile, because listen, there could be more than one reading here for you. You got more than one person. Hey, I ain't here to judge. I'm just a reader. Okay. Um, <laughs> follow your intuition. But if you're having difficulties choosing intuitively, you could always go to your search engine, put in random number generator, one through three, and boom, it's like shoots a number out for you and that will be the number for you here in this pick a card reading bless all right so that's that that's who that's what's up and i will find you at your pile bless let me know how you guys felt about your reading in the comment as well let's get it let's go hello there how are you doing pal one if you chose the waning moon then you are at your reading bless all right so we're gonna go into the energies now let's get it let's go first of all let's connect bless okay this is my protection mist available on my shop if you're interested i do have other intentions as well we are burning here today the Pisces candle, which is limited. It's a limited time candle as we are in Pisces season while I'm recording this. My readings are timeless. So um, if you're watching this in a different time, don't worry. All right, let's get it. Let's go. It's when you get the message that is meant for you. All right, so I'm going to move my mic a little back because I'm going to lean a little back. I feel like leaning back. I wasn't leaning back earlier, so... Something about get comfortable. Get comfortable, Pa One. All right, so I feel like you're going to get comfortable with what's going on in your connection right now, okay? Bless. All right, Holy Spirit, please come through and help me channel this message here today for Paul One. Thank you. All right, so Paul One, let's tap into your person's energy first. Oh, they're telling me to go to my music deck. All right, so this is my music deck. It's the Music Oracle, Volume Three. It's available on my shop. If you're interested, 25% off today <laughs> to the end of the month. All right, so let's go. Um, what's the vibe? What's the energy here in this connection with Paul One and their person? Thank you. Something about teeth. I don't know. Maybe somebody's an orthodontist, works in a dentist's office, or somebody got some nice teeth. There's something here about teeth. Teeth, okay. Um, like a bite. <laughs> you have here, 
I Want It That Way by Backstreet Boys. All right, so I'm going to read that real quick for you. And I named that card the Ego card, okay? And then we have Exchange by Bryson Tiller, and I named this card Regret. All right, so someone's in regret. All right, so there's regret here. Let's see. I'm going to just skim through these songs because these songs have lyrics, like the cards have the name of the song, the artist, what I call the song, and some lyrics, which are significant. All right, so with I Want It That Way, Backstreet Boys, it goes like this. Now I can see that we've fallen apart from the way that I used to be, from the way that it used to be, yeah. No matter the distance, I want you to know that deep down inside of me, you are my fire. The one desire. You are, you are, don't want to hear you say, ain't nothing like a heartache. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Don't want to hear you say, I never want to hear you say, oh yeah, I want it that way. Tell me why, ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why, ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why. I never want to hear you say, I want it that way. Mm. All right, so it makes me want to cry. It makes me want to cry, okay, because it's deep. This song, first of all, listen to these songs on your own time. Of course, I Want It That Way, Backstreet Boys, and Exchange by Bryson Tiller. Let's check out Bryson Tiller real quick so I could just tell you the energy I'm getting off the top, like the surface energy. And I am seeing uh, iceberg. So there's a lot, there's like a little bit at the surface, but there's so much underneath that surface that is dying to come up. Okay. Exchange Bryson Tiller. This will happen when I think about you. I get in my feelings, yeah. I start reminiscing, yeah. Next time around, fuck, I want it to be different, yeah. Waiting on a sign, guess it's time for a different prayer. I, I had difficulty saying prayer, right? So there's something there. So I feel like your person's having difficulties praying or connecting with the divine, okay? Waiting for a sign, yeah, it's time for a different prayer. Lord, please save her for me. Do this one favor for me. I had to exchange my player ways. Got way too complicated for me. I hope she's waiting for me. Everywhere she go, they play in my song. That's why I say the things I say. That way I know you can't ignore me. But so, so, yeah. So I'm a... So give me all you in exchange for me. Just give me all of you in exchange for me. Now, hold up. I, like, I'm literally, like, I've read this card plenty of times. I've heard this song plenty of times. And I'm having such difficulties, like, reading it out to you. So I feel like, honey, and underneath that, we have Leave You Alone, Young Jeezy, and I called it Unhealthy Romance. All right, so there's something here that's offbeat, is what it's giving, off the top. There's a lot that's hiding in this connection, a lot that's being hidden, because I saw the iceberg. So, you know, if you know about icebergs, which does touch base or, you know, connect to the Titanic, because everybody found out about icebergs because of the Titanic, you know, aside from like what you learn in school. Anywho, um, the Titanic huge boat is sunk because of the iceberg, right? That's the story we get told. Um... And yes, the iceberg does have the ability to sink a boat because it's hiding what... All right, so it's hiding so much under that you you underestimate it, all right? So I'm getting that... This is deep. I'm getting part one. First of all, your person's ego got in the way of your connection. They let their ego take the wheel. Instead of them making decisions consciously and emotionally, they made decisions off of their ego, their pride. And it's giving like, I don't want to lose in a sense. So they made decisions that they truly possibly wouldn't have made if they were in a healthier place. Right now, your person is in a very unhealthy place or they're, they're around a lot of unhealthy people. I feel really nervous in your person's energy. So, and I also feel like crying like deeply. So there's a lot of pain here, a lot of regret and a lot of um, 
heavy energies. This is heavy. Okay, so honey, I already know. I'm at the burn some Palo Santo after this one. Okay, but anywho, I got you, baby. That's why I'm here. So first of all, they want it their way. You want it your way. They wanted it their way, but they didn't want to. It's like there was a, a, a mix up here. There was some sort of disconnection between you and them aligning your energy. Their energy is on different frequencies. And so you could bring them up. They could bring you up. Y'all could come together and, you know, match. But I'm getting their ego in the way like, nah, we're not going to do that. You could come to where I'm at because I'm not going to where you're at. And this was like, this is something your person has been battling with. Aside from your relationship in general, your person has been battling with their ego their pride. And so um, this is really unhealthy because I'm getting that they're a prisoner to their ego. So there's something about their character, their identity, their reputation that holds them back from truly being who they are is really deep. And so they want it their way and they know you want it your way, but they're standing on business and they're saying, nah, I'm going to get it my way. And so there was some sort of like clash or there is some sort of clash going on right now where you guys aren't seeing eye to eye because they're not reciprocating your energy or your emotions or your love because of their ego. They're standing on business is the way it's given here where, you know, oh, I'm standing on business. I said what I want. I said how I want it. And either you're going to be cool with that or we're going to go separate ways. And that's not really a healthy attitude, right? So it's giving unhealthy. But is that truly how they feel? No way. That's not how they feel. They actually feel really sad. They actually feel like shit, for real, for real. Um, They want you. It's deep. And when they think about their feelings for you, they, they, they go to this dark place and they want to cry. I feel like this person's crying a lot alone, possibly when they're in the shower or when they're alone in their car. Like there's a lot of tears going on here. Mm -hmm. And next time around, fuck, I want it to be different. Yeah. Waiting on a sign. Confirmation. Notifications are confirmation on my channel. All right. Waiting on a sign gets it's time to, I guess it's time for a different prayer, you know? So they've been praying, but they've been having difficulties. Confirmation. They've been praying, but they've been having difficulties with their faith. They've been having difficulties like connecting to the divine because they're in so much doubt. Like, I'm getting their faith at a very low right now. They feel like they're being punished by the universe, but the universe is just pushing them to like acknowledge their ego and go through this ego death because this ego, this character, this reputation or the way they see themselves or how they're trying to paint themselves isn't really who they are. So um, this is like an identity crisis. So they're in point is they're in deep regret. They're in deep regret. They were unhealthy with you. They acted childish and unhealthy is what it's giving me. And now they want to do this exchange. Now they want to do it one more time because they're saying next time around. So they're ambitious in regards to pursuing you, apparently, on the low. All right? It's a secret. And um, they're optimistic about the future. They feel like they could get another chance. They're praying for that chance. Um Things got way too complicated between you guys, and they're praying to God and Source, the Divine, that you will wait for them. All right, because this is a this is a transition that's going on here, and it's not going to happen overnight because this is deep rooted conditioning. Since they were young, they were conditioned to think a certain way, act a certain way, be a certain way, and so this is not going to happen overnight where they could just change and um be aware of their conditioning and remove what's unhealthy because there's a lot of unhealthy energies here. Everywhere they go, they're reminded of you. Apparently they see someone that looks like you or they hear a song maybe that you um, that you dedicated to them or there's like something that comes up, you know, something that relates to you hanging out with them, you talking to them, conversations, like you're constantly coming up is what is being given here. And they can't ignore it. They can't ignore you, even if they try. So that's why they're going to try one more time. They feel like the universe is guiding them to do this. Like, give it another go. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but you guys have fallen apart is what it's giving here. What's your angel number? Let's see. Holy Spirit, what's the angel number for Pa One? Thank you. Angel number for Pa One. 628. All right, so go to your search engine, put in 628 angel number meaning. All right, with 628, 6 and 2 is 8, 8 and 8 is 16, 1 and 6 is 7. It's giving guards up, guards up. Yeah, guards up because there was some sort of deception um, or there was um, some sort of hurt, pain. But like it, I'm getting like inflicting pain, like someone purposely trying to like hurt someone. So the guards are up. I'm getting boundaries have been placed or you're placing healthy boundaries to protect your heart. Now, with the waning moon, it says here, letting go, removing toxic energies out with the old, releasing burdens. Right. So it's giving exactly what's going on here right now. So this is like a little summary. There is a connection here with the moon. It's giving me Talking to the Moon by Bruno Mars. All right. Talking to the moon. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to go there. All right. But yeah, you got the vibe. You, you know what I'm talking about. All right. So you're releasing burdens is what it's giving. I'm getting you letting go. You just releasing energies that make you feel less than or that you feel do not match your frequency. So let's see what's their energy. We'll see their energy, your energy. Then we'll go into your feelings, their feelings, and what's the hidden factor, okay? Holy Spirit, what is Pa One's person's energy right now when it comes to this connection? The Five of Wands in reverse, all right? All right, so that's given um, fire, mainly Leo, but also Aries and Sagittarius. And then we have the page of cups at the back of the deck in reverse. All right, so, so their energy right now, they're avoiding conflicts. They don't want to fight with you. That's their energy right now. Like, listen, I want no smoke. I respect you. Um, respect me. We're different. It's agreeing to disagree. There's some sort of diversity here where you guys could be different. Maybe y'all cultures are different. Y'all religious beliefs are different. Um, your age could be different because the page of cups in reverse, that is a very young age. So there could be a difference with age or this is just maturity levels. You're more mature. You know, they're immature. They still have a lot of going up to do is what it's giving. So their energy right now is like, I don't want no smoke. All right. Listen, I respect you. Respect me, please. I don't want to fight no more. I don't want to fight no more is what it's giving. Yeah, they're in, they're like right now they're not stable. There's instabilities here. Yeah, they're going through changes. Um, They're also going through some sort of loss. All right. So, yeah, they lost you, but there's like they're losing a lot in their life right now. So it's giving abandonment like they feel abandoned in a sense. Um, they want their freedom. They don't want to fight. Um, the five of wands also speaks about group conflicts. All right. So this could have been a group situation where family got involved, friends got involved. All right. What's the feminine's energy? All right. So we have the sun in reverse. Okay. So your energy, what we have at the back of the deck, the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Regardless of sex, this is energy. We all have masculine. We all have feminine energies. Okay. Your energy is coming out very masculine, though. So it's giving that you're in charge. All right. So it's giving like you becoming a leader. Um, You really not participating in no bullshit. Right now, you're focusing on your endeavors. Your energy is coming out here as you are healing. You're healing your inner child. So they may have triggered your inner child. Whatever they did here, however they treated you, it is reflecting on on something you experience as a youngster okay and whatever it is that you experience as a youngster you know it hurt you so the universe i feel put this person in your path so you could um resurface these feelings because subconsciously it was still there this pain was subconsciously still there so now i'm seeing that you're focusing on this past pain childhood pain childhood trauma Overall, it's giving you feeling down right now. You're overly optimistic, though, and that's a good energy. So you're like, listen, I know the, I know the universe has my back. I have faith that was for me is for me and it's coming in. So that's a good energy. But you're also feeling 
the negativity that comes off of this person and this connection. And it's like, I don't want that. It's giving, I don't want that. Like, as the sun in reverse, this person made you feel really good. This person made you really happy. Let's not take that away. Confirmation on my phone, okay? This person made you very, very happy. But right now, it's giving really, really high highs and really low lows. Um, Sunflowers could be a thing. Somebody could have a sunflower tattoo. Horses could be a thing. Somebody could love horses. Or um, maybe you rode horses when you were younger. You like to do the pony the pony rides or horseback riding or something. Your energy is coming off fire as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a lot of fire here. Fire man. F -f -f no, I'm just kidding. I heard that though. Little Wayne, fire man. All right, Little Wayne's a Libra. So you got Libra in your chart, but it's giving Aries, Leo, Sagittarius on the table heavy. There's a lot of fire here. I feel like there was a lot of passion, chemistry, a lot of romance, uh, a lot of this is a lot of energies here that are just kind of, it's like somebody trying to tame the fire. They're trying to tame their fire. You're trying to tame your fire. We're taming fires out here. Fireman. F -f -f yeah, fireman. All right. Um, you're giving fireman energy, even though doesn't matter your sex, female or male, take the high resonates, but it's giving, um, you taming a fire. It's giving Phoenix too. You're acting like you don't care is what I'm seeing. And it's coming off a little arrogant, okay? But it's a way of saving yourself or protecting yourself. Like, nah, I'm not going to act bothered. I'm not going to act like I'm stressed and pressed. Like, it's all good. If that's what you wanted to do, bless. You know, like, we're, we're okay over here. But I see you feeling down and out. There's a lot of sadness in your energy. Like, if the person's name is mentioned or... If something pops up and um, reminds you of this person, like it, it creates pain, it creates sadness. All right, so you may be doing things to kind of distract yourself from this um, relationship, this person, because you don't want to feel the pain. You're trying to get through the pain, release the pain. But with the King of Pentacles here upright, is giving that you are in a high vibrational energy, you're just sad. All right, it's giving you in a high vibrational energy where you're 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 focusing on business, you're focusing on your endeavors. Right now, it's all about business. All right, so you could be focusing or doing a lot of work or projects or things like that. Maybe you're channeling your pain through work. Is what is giving is giving abundance, prosperity. So you could be bringing in money, or you're about to be because you're putting a lot of your energy. I feel like you're alchemizing your pain and creating wealth okay well that's a good a good way to do it okay let's go okay <laughs> that's a nice way to to you know transfer the pain okay so what's your feelings aside from your energy what's your feelings what is Paul one's feelings in this connection overall aside from what we got the five of cups in reverse all right so it's giving that right now you're accepting you're, you're healing. You're accepting the full in reverse. All right. So that's giving Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, it's also giving a lot of Scorpio. So somebody could have Scorpio in their chart. You're healing. You're accepting the situation for what it is. You're not delusional. You know what time it is. Your energy right now, your feelings are, I'm moving on. I'm finding peace. I accept the situation for what it is. I know this person set me back. I know this situation set me back. And now I just want to get things right. I want my stability to be solid again is what it's giving. Um, you're, you're doing a lot of self-healing, self-care. You're right now, your feelings are just on you. Like you're focusing on moving on and finding peace with yourself, forgiving yourself. Cause a part of you right now feels like, um, maybe for a minute there, you blamed yourself. Like, how did you not see this? How did you not know? Like, why did you, how, how did that get over you? How did that get above us? Like, what, what happened? Cause you went through it and I'm getting, you're at the point right now, or you're about to be at the point right now where you're accepting. And that's beautiful. That's huge. That's really high vibrational right there. You're accepting the L and it's not giving a loss, the lesson. You're accepting the lesson for what it was. You know this person held you back. You know this person kept you um imba imbalanced. Yeah. You know that this there was like 
it's like for a moment there, you may have even fought with yourself in regards to letting this person go or even fully like detaching from this connection because it's letting me know here that with this indecision, like you're kind of one foot in, one foot out. Now you're deciding to accept and move forward is what I'm seeing with your feelings. But for a minute there, you were like, yes and no. Like, yes, I know it's the best thing. Like, it's the logical thing for me to heal, accept, move on. But emotionally, you're like, I love, I have love for this person. This person, you know, they did something for you, you know? So it was, I'm getting that period of you accepting what happened and deciding to move forward confirmation was so difficult, but you made the right decision. You have to forgive yourself. And I see you doing that because you made bad choices or maybe you ignored some red flags. You know, sometimes we see the red flags. We're like a carnival, you know, <laughs> it's a carnival, but it's not, it's the red flags, you know? So I'm getting you, um, acknowledging, you know, um, that you may have ignored your intuition. You're very intuitive. So I feel like you may have ignored your intuition here and there because you had love for this person. Point blank period. We all we all been there, honey. I get it. Okay. All right. So what's their feelings? What's their feelings aside from not wanting any smoke with Paul One? <laughs> I don't want smoke. Okay. So what's their feelings? They don't want to fight. They don't. They, they don't want to compete. We got the page of pentacles. A lot of page energy with your person is giving childlike vibes, all right? With the eight of wands at the back of the deck, okay? And the three of swords underneath that. Honey, they want to get in a car or a plane or something like that. Like, they want to travel towards you. Right now, they are... They, they feel like right now they don't have what it takes to offer you a commitment. And it has a lot to do with finances, with the page of pentacles here being in reverse. Right now they're being greedy, all right? They're just thinking about themselves, how much money they got, how much money they're going to have to invest in this relationship. If they can, or even if they have enough to invest in this relationship. So right now your person is learning from their failures, all right? There's something here about business, money, investments. They're also learning off of that too because they made some poor decisions with business investments and money as well aside from the connection but I do see that right now they're lacking in commitment when it comes to the connection because of greediness laziness procrastination so they want to do something but they're too lazy to do something but it's not really all about the laziness it's also about the fact that they're insecure and they don't feel like they got enough to offer you all right they want to talk to you they want to speak to you with the eight of wands being here i want to speak i want to talk they're hurt they're so hurt it's giving pain it's giving pain all right, it's giving pain. Right now they're going through the 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 motions. It's giving um like seasickness, car, like you know, um what do you call that when you're in a car, the motion, um I don't know, but that type of vibe, like this roller coaster, this this journey they've been on, they've been getting motion sickness. There we go, motion sickness. And so this journey has been like they sick. I don't know, their stomach hurts. They they're throwing up. They did Physically, they don't feel good. I'm getting that too, because I'm seeing a lot, like someone fatigued, someone feeling down, holding their stomach. Um, this makes them sick. It makes them sick. They could be sick right now. Um, I'm getting them going through sorrow. There's a lot here about loss. This is, for some of y'all, it could have been a divorce. For other of y'all, it was just a breakup, you know? But it comes off that deep to be like a divorce, where there's deep pain here. They're definitely depressed right now is what it's giving me. And they want to talk to you about this. They want to, this travel here, they want to get in a car or a plane and they want to come towards you and talk to you about this. But they don't, they feel insecure because they feel like they don't have what it takes financially to sustain a relationship with you. All right. So let's see what's the hidden factors. What's the hidden factors here between part one and their person? Guys, if you connected with me so far, hit that thumbs up. <laughs> bless and um also um subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much bless all right so what's the hidden factors here for power one hidden factors 
we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Family. Family is an issue. Point blank period. Family is an issue. Um, I'm getting dreams shattered here. And family was involved in one way or another. And also, you guys had misaligned values. Like, your values, their values when it came to relationship, family, family dynamics, security, stability. It was all different. The way you wanted to life and the way this person wanted to life or the way you saw life and the way they saw life, especially the way you saw relationships and the way they saw relationships was totally different. Totally different. Y'all values were different. And so that's why there was such a struggle here. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the hidden factor is that they're struggling with family. All right. They're struggling with this relationship breaking down is giving Pisces somebody got Pisces in their in their chart is giving struggling being alone is giving an empty house a, hem, a empty home or even if they're around people and it's not empty they feel so alone yeah six of swords in reverse at the back of the deck so this is letting me know they're stuck they're still stuck thinking about you they're still stuck thinking about the situation right now Overall, what's being hidden is that there's emotional baggage that needs to be released on both sides. Like, I see you doing a dump here where you're dumping your emotions and you're releasing the negativity that you received from the relationship in exchange when you guys were together. And they're doing a dump where they're trying to release matters at home. You know, there's something here with home, kids, family, and that being a hidden factor. So right now, there's a lot, there's some sort of domestic disharmony going on with family too. So there could be some sort of violence with family. Like, I don't know, they don't feel confident. They feel... They don't feel comfortable at home. There, there's something here about not feeling comfortable at home. All right, what's the advice? And then we're going to see what's next. What's the advice here between Pa One and their person? What does Pa One need to hear as far as advice goes in this connection? Thank you. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. You guys got to talk it out. All right, so right now your advice is to rethink your approach when you're talking to this person, all right? So maybe you feel a type of way. You know, there's a lot of fire here. There could be a lot of um, repressed emotions and resentment, you know? So you're being told to um, rethink your approach when it comes to the connection, when it comes to this person. Keep secrets right now is what you're being told you're being told, as far as advice goes, is to live a very private life. Don't put everything out there. Don't put everything you're doing or who you're doing it with out there. Be very, very private. There's a reason for that. Is giving keep secrets, okay? Um, if there's something that you didn't get to share in this connection, um, you're being advised to share it. Come clean, okay? And that's your advice. Now, let's see what's next. They need to come clean, okay? And they, I feel like they will, all right? Yeah, with the five of pentacles here being at the back of the deck, my ear went off too. Yeah, you're going to hear it. They're going to come towards you, and they're going to tell you the truth about what happened here, and they're going to come clean to you about what they did. And you're being advised to rethink your approach, all right? Don't attack, okay? Um, be calm, cool, collective, and keep secrets. They're going to tell you something, and you're being told to keep the secret because they're going to tell you a secret. There's something here that hasn't been shared that they will be sharing, and the universe is saying to keep that between you and them. It's very important to keep this secret. There's a secret. I don't know, okay? Take it how it resonates. Okay, what's next? All right, so what's next, Spirit? Thank you. What's next between Pa One and their person? We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. All right. What's next between Pa One and their person? The Two of Wands in reverse. 
back of the deck the nine of wands all right so what's next is you protecting yourself you protecting your peace and you creating boundaries there was some sort of battle here or like conflict and it could have involved a lot of people family friends colleagues i don't know possibly a third party however it goes um it's giving you the last one standing all right so whatever the battle somebody like they could have and other people could have won some sort of battle against you but i'm getting you winning the war and that's what's next not that it's a competition and you want to win against your ops but if someone's fighting with you don't you want to win all right so it's giving you winning the war oh i just got like a cold energy yeah it's gonna be cold out here in these streets because you're winning the war um take that how that resonates i see loss of opportunity so what's next the opportunity is still not here it's giving delays with the two of wands here in reverse okay it's giving like stagnation delays things falling apart um right now it's all about you i just see you focusing on maintaining and growing your foundation all right, you're playing it safe. Right now, I'm seeing you like, all right, I it's like you built a fence or you built a gate and you're like, all right, everybody has to stay behind the line. And the reason you're doing this is because you're playing it safe. You don't trust this person or whoever's associated to the situation because, like I said, you won the war. And in order for you to win the war, there has to be a war, right? So it's giving um, combative, you know? So I feel like what's next is you literally keeping your faith alive and taking it easy and playing it safe. What's next is not an opportunity. It's just you healing, you um, coming out your cave, you feeling safe because... You feeling like you created a big enough boundary where you can't be hurt, harmed, or touched. Point blank, period. All right, bless. Now, let's get some advice. <laughs> and then we're going to get some initials. Well, let's get initials first. And then we're going to get some advice. Should I do charms? How am I going to do the charms? I don't know. Let's just do initials, Okay. Because it's going to be kind of difficult, or can I? I mean, I can. We'll just do the initials for today. Okay. What's the initials for Pow One? And then I'll give you some advice. All right, baby? I love you. All right. So you have H, F, H, C, Y, C, C, Y, Q, G, W, O, L.A. Somebody could be from L.A., California. Um, somebody could be from Georgia. All right. B.F. Y'all could have been like best friends at one point. Like y'all would tell each other everything. Or there was like this trust, like best friends between you and them. Um, Or there could be something here about a best friend or maybe their best friend got in the way of this connection. We have H.A. A.A giving AAA, which is, um, AAA is a program, at least that they have out here, a service that you can pay for. So if you have any difficulties on the road, like a flat tire, your car breaks down, you could call AAA and AAA will come help you. So I feel like you are insured, pal, one, all right? And it's giving ha ha, all right? Ha ha. Ah, you're insured. All right, we have T H H. Yeah, ha 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 ha. All right, so I feel like um, pound one. The universe wants you to know it's it comes out here three times. Ha 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 ha. All right, so I feel like not for nothing you do get the last laugh. If you know you were wondering if you were gonna get the last laugh, you do get the last laugh because I feel like there was a lot at play here and I feel like you were not treated the right way you were treated poorly and so maybe you have resentment and maybe you want them to get their karma or maybe you just want them to learn their lesson to feel the pain that you felt so you will get that last laugh ha 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 <laughs> take that how it resonates okay take it how it resonates all right baby <laughs> just the reader <laughs> all right let's get some advice Advice time. Let's see what the advice is given today. Pinky is coming through. All right. So Holy Spirit, what's the advice 
four pile one advice beautiful things take time to grow all right so there's no need to rush allow yourself to grow at your own pace okay so beautiful things take time to grow so there's no need to rush baby cakes you are a rose the ever unfolding rose which is giving this is happening for you not to you okay so whatever happened here is actually gonna be a benefit for you moving forward we have shadow work here sorry for the glare all right but it says here uncover every part of you that has been repressed and abandoned and i feel like not for nothing that's what i feel like this relationship did for you like i feel like it's resurfacing emotions events trauma that you may have um buried very deep within your subconscious but i'm getting it's uncovering where you're unlocking um some past pains and you're doing that shadow work it's part of your growth okay and love your work ask yourself today if you if what you're doing is truly making you happy. All right. And back of the deck. You're very smart with the little um, chest objects here. You see it? Yeah. Like, you're very smart. And I'm getting some of you guys may do something with a computer. I'm getting, like, a brilliant idea coming your way. And you were chosen. So you were chosen because you're perfect for this mission. Simply shine your light on the road ahead and you will help others to see their way. I'm getting the universe kind of using you here, Pawan, to set an example. You're meant to be somebody's karma, all right? And listen, confirmation on my fern, okay? Confirmation on my fern. Mm -hmm. You're a chosen one, Pawan, meaning that you have a mission here on this blue and green planet and your life your challenges are not going to be like everybody else's they're probably a lot tougher because you're meant to be a leader leaders do not fit in they stand out and they do have more experience than those who are following them right so i'm getting you're a chosen one and you were chosen to be karma for certain people okay and just know that you're shining the way for others so by you learning certain certain lessons, you're going to be sharing those lessons and teaching those lessons to others. You're meant to be a teacher is what I'm getting. You're meant to be a guide for others. Bless. Okay. All right, Palm One, that is that, that is who, and that is what's up. I hope you really enjoyed this reading here with me today. I hope I helped you in any way, shape, or form. You can let me know by giving me a thumbs up, bless, and also by subscribing and hitting that bell button and leaving a comment down below. I appreciate you guys so much, and I hope to see you in the comments or in the next one. Deuces, and you love, light, and everything nice. Mwah! Bless. <laughs> Hello there. How are you doing, pal? Too. Welcome to your reading. If you chose this card, then you are at your reading. Bless. And it's interesting because it's giving two sides to this heart. All right. So two sides, pal. Two connections. All right. So let's get it. Let's go. Let's tap in. You're going to hear something is what I'm getting. I'm going to use my protection mist, which you can find on my shop. I have different ex intentions. This one's protection. Okay. Smells really good, too. Bless. 25% off everything. Okay. So let's get it. Let's go. Let's see what your angel number is. And then we're going to get into your reading. Bless. All right. Holy Spirit, please come through and help me channel this message here today. For part two, what is their angel number? I'm getting work on affirmations, part two. Whoa. Yeah, something's going to hit, all right? I don't know. This is giving an intuition hit. All right, 318. 318. 
318 is your angel number. Go to your search engine, put in 318 angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your first message from spirit. If you can share, please do. Thank you. All right, so that's giving four and eight, which is 12. One and three, one and two, which is three. All right, so three, friendships, family, is giving um celebrations. You have a celebration coming. Mm -hmm. You're going to be celebrating with friends. All right, so we have half and half. Nice. Which is also talking about yin yang. All right, so that's masculine and feminine energy coming together and aligning. Ooh, y'all have y'all very different, but I'm getting opposites do attract. Hmm. All right, so y'all could be different in culture, different in age, different in religious beliefs. Um, take it how it resonates, but I'm getting y'all different, but y'all differences do attract each other and it complements each other. So maybe they pick up where you slack and you pick up where they slack. Okay. Yeah. Something about my right side. My right side. All right. Something about the right. Right hand man. All right. So you may see them as like a right hand or you may have seen them or you see them. Take it how it resonates. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Bless. They thirsty for you because, honey, I am not thirsty. I just drank my water prior to starting this reading and my mouth is so watery. All right. So we're going to get the overall energy with my music oracle deck volume three it's available on my website check it out in the description 25 percent off right now bless all right let's go what's the vibe what's the energy between pal two and their person thank you so much vibe and energy between pal two and their person as of right now thank you vibe na -na -na. There's a vibe here between you two, for sure. It's giving vibes. All right, so we have I'm Yours by Bri by Jason Mira's Divine Union. Okay. That's your first song. And then we have Expensive Pain by Meek Mills, Fake Friends and Lovers. Yeah, number three, friends, lovers, family. It's giving, like... I don't know. They have fake friends and it's coming off. They may have come off as a fake lover because of friends. Take it how it resonates. But let's see what the songs have to give real quick. With I'm Yours by Jason Miras is saying, well, you done done me in. You bet I felt it. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. <laughs> I fell right through the cracks. Now... I'm trying to get back before the cool done run out. I'll be giving it my bestest. And nothing's going to stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn to win some or learn some. But I won't hesitate. No more. No more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. Hey, hey. Well, open up your mind and see me like me. Open up your plans. And you'll find love, love, love. Listen to the music of the moment people dance and sing. We're just one big family and it's our God forsaken right to be loved, loved, loved. Confirmation on my phone. All right, so dang. Okay, I feel like there's an invitation coming. And with expensive pain, Meek Mills, it says, shit, I've been winning a long time. I know they sick of me, y'all. Got me switching up my flow again, switching up my hoe again. Everybody been changing. Got me switching up my bro again. My dog did his bid. He came back home and switched his pole again. And I ain't even want to tell him to slide. He trying to go again. Once he got advice, I said, go again. Yeah, king in my trenches. I'm not active. All I know is when... To the bluer, what? Told the blower, this O oh, and then 10. Yeah, this is expensive pain. When you ride in through the trenches, bulletproof all on the range. This is expensive pain. Loving the bleep you claim, knowing some rich bleep hitting. It'll never be the same. This is expensive pain. All right. 
I'm getting haters here, all right? So this could be um, family hating, friends hating. I don't know. People are hating. And the reason they're hating on you, Patu, and I'm getting it's on you, Patu, is because of your success, your status, your stability, um, your accolades, where, what you have accomplished thus far in life. It makes these people, whether this is your friends, their friends, there's friends here or, yeah, friends and or family that are very jealous because... Um, your status has changed or you have a lot of success. There's something here about, um, you winning for a long time, or you just started winning or you're going to be winning for a long time. And so there's friends that are jealous and envious on their side, your side. I don't know. There's a lot of, this could be on their side. Okay. But take it how it resonates. It could be on yours as well, but there's a lot of jealousy. This union here is a divine union. Yin yang twin flame vibes is what is giving so many energy well you done dumb me in all right so that that's what it is you done them in okay they feel like this connection is unique is different it's one of a kind is unexplainable so you could be a good girl or a good boy and they could be a bad girl or a bad boy all right you guys could be really different maybe you're successful and they're not or maybe your families are different you come from different places this is something there's something here about um started from the bottom now we're here coming from the trenches but leveling up changing tax brackets like there's something here about um your success pal too and somehow, some way, your success is affecting the connection, or this could be theirs. Put it where it resonates. But I'm getting somebody here being very successful, and because of that, there's a lot of anxiety, stress, fears. People fear you with this person because they feel like you could change them. You could change them is what it's giving. All right. Okay. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's see what their energy is, and then we'll see your energy. All right. Holy Spirit. Please come through and help me channel this message here today for Pao Tzu. Thank you. What is Pao Tzu's person's energy? Bless. Let's see. We have the three of pentacles in reverse. A lot of three energy here for you, Pao Tzu. All right. So maybe you wanted to go to Pao Three Two. All right. Only if you wanted to go there. If not, don't go there. I haven't even done it yet. All right. So I'm getting disharmony. Oh. I see your person alone. They could be working alone. There's some sort of conflict here. Your person's energy right now is that they're conflicted. Is giving a third party situation does not work out. So this could be you, them, and the family, you, them, and a friend, you, them, and a third party could be another romantic partner. But because of outside interferences, they feel like this situation is not working out. It didn't work out. There was misalignments um, between you two. One of you guys... um work alone all right so they work alone or you work alone um that's being highlighted here but i'm getting right now their energy is all over the place they're disorganized they feel sloppy they feel like a big big mess because of people around them mm -hmm. so there was a group there was like a group that was conflicted and angry and upset with them being with you and therefore, they worked against the connection is what their energy is giving. And that's what they're solely focusing on right now. Like, damn, why things didn't work out or why things aren't working out. All right. So what is Patu's energy in this connection? What is Patu's overall energy? All right. Five of Pentacles. Your energy is that you're having a little bit of a struggle here. A lot of Pentacles. Y'all may have worked together or... Money was a big factor in this connection. Status, money, reputation, big factor in this connection. You feel abandoned. You feel like they left you out in the cold. You feel right now like your energy is about loss and you're worried. This caused insecurity, them leaving you out in the cold, all right? Them kind of choosing some sort of group over you in this relationship it has triggered you. It would trigger anybody. What? All right. So right now your energy is that you're struggling with being out in the cold. You're having a little bit of a struggle with this. You could have even lost money. Maybe you helped them or invested in them one way or another. And so I'm getting that 
there's a recovery when it comes to finances, career, and endeavors. Like that's being highlighted. A lot of work energy. This could have been a work relationship or y'all work together or there's some sort of investment here or work. But it's giving that you're kind of struggling with the fact that you're out in the cold or that, you know, it's giving a struggle overall, your energy. Because of the conflicts, because of the friends, the family members, or a third party person, um, is giving that you feel like you're losing in this connection more than you're gaining, or you feel like you lost more than you gained, especially if you invested in them. Confirmation. All right, what is Patu's feelings in this connection right now? What is Patu's person's feel? Well, Patu's. We have justice in reverse. You feel like it's not fair. Like, whatever's going on here, you feel like it's not fair. You feel like there's an imbalance here. Like, you weren't treated fairly. You feel like, you know, like you're being punished or this is karma. Like, a part of you is looking at this relationship as karma. Like, damn, is this my karma for something I did? Like, God, universe, like, you want to talk to me? You want to let me know? Like, what's up? Like, what is this? Why did this person come into my life? Like, a part of you um, feels like they're not taking responsibility. Like, they're not taking accountability for what they did here. Like, your, your feelings are like, listen, this is what I'm getting. Your feelings are like, listen. <laughs> listen, there's something here about listen. All right, because I'm saying listen a lot. Pinky just came in here. All right, your feelings is that they lied to you, they deceived you, you invested in them, and it was a poor investment because there's no return, is what it's giving. Yeah, now she's begging to come on my lap. All right, they, this person could have came to you vulnerable or wounded and asked you for help, support, and, um, a hand or something and you were there for them but they lied to you is what is giving with the justice in reverse as far as signs we have capricorn we have taurus we have libra coming strong okay so it's giving that you feel like this is unjust there was an injustice done here to you and you want your justice Right now, you, you may be feeling really unstable, especially financially, because you either lost something or you gave this person something and they were supposed to give you something in return or they didn't help you and you're manifesting something with the magician here. You're manifesting them taking accountability. You could be manifesting... <laughs> Let me position myself for this one. This is only going to be for some. Please take it if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. You could be manifesting this person getting their karma mm -hmm. for leaving you out in the cold and working with some sort of group against you and not being honest with you. You could be manifesting their karma is what it's giving me. All right. <laughs> I ain't judging. Honey, please. I'm not a judge. I'm a reader. <laughs> But I see what I see. All right. So what is Pal 2's person's feelings right now when it comes to Pal 2? Thank you. The Two of Cups. All right. So there's something here about them feeling like, honey, you they twin. You they soulmate. You are their twin flame. You are their person. They feel like fixing things with you, reconciling with you, um, partnering up with you, partners. They want to be partners with you, but I'm getting like, you ring around the rosy, ring around the rosy, pockets full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. All right. And so you already tried working something with them and it didn't work out because of a group is what is giving other people outside interferences. What they feel right now, what they want right now is um, to connect with you and work things out. Confirmation on my phone. From Timu. All right, so that's their feelings. They want to fix things, make things work. With the star in reverse, Aquarius is giving that they don't really have faith in you wanting to work with them. They want to work with you. They feel like y'all will be the best together. Like, even though y'all different, like, together you you guys could work things out. But a part of them knows, like, it may not work out. There's despair here. 
there's stressed out, there's insecurities here in regards to you guys actually coming together and working things out. There's a disconnection here, especially when it comes to the divine. All right. So they, they lack in faith. I don't know. Maybe they don't believe in God or they don't believe in source or they don't believe in the universe. They don't believe in energy or something like that. This person lacks faith. But right now I'm getting them in like a dark space, wanting to fix things with you, but they are in despair because they feel like you guys are probably not going to be able to fix things. That's how they feel. All right. What's the hidden factor here between Pau 2 and their person? The Four of Cups. All right. So the hidden factor here is a third party situation, outside interferences. I feel like you're not fully aware of how deep these interferences go. OK, because it's giving the devil in reverse Capricorn. And with the four of cups here, we have cancer. All right. So the hidden factor right now is that there's a better, better opportunity coming in for you, Pau Tu. That's being hidden, but it's a factor. Um, they're reevaluating the relationship and where things may have gone wrong. They're reevaluating these third parties. That's being hidden right now. Again, there's a disconnection here. They're releasing these toxic people. That's what's being hidden. Mm-hmm. Freedom. I'm getting, they want to release themselves from everything. They want to be alone. That's, that's what's being hidden in this connection. They're not happy. They're bored. They're discontent with life in general. They're contemplating what they're going to do. Confirmation. <laughs> Confirmation. They're contemplating what they're going to do and how they're going to go about it to restore control here with you because they feel like people are interfering. People are coming between y'all connection. And so a part of them knows in order to have this reconciliation with you, they got to get rid of these toxic folks. They got to get rid of the distractions. They got to get rid of what's coming in between y'all. And so this is what's being contemplated right now in this disconnection because I'm getting emotionally, y'all are disconnected. All right. So even if y'all are near each other, you could feel the distance between y'all emotionally. Yeah. So um, I'm getting them wanting to gain control again. They lost control. They want to gain control again with you. And this connection is what is giving. All right. So what's the advice? What's the advice here for Pau 2 with their person? And then we're going to see what's next. What's the advice? We have the three of wands in reverse. All right. So your advice is to take it easy. Confirmation. Your advice, Pau 2, is to play it small. Right now, it's not about investments. Right now, it's not putting energy into this connection that is needed. Right now, it's all about you. Your advice is to think long term. Think about your goals, where you want to be, what you see yourself doing in the future, who you see yourself doing it with, how you see yourself doing it with them. All right, right now, it's all about contemplation. There's a lot of lack here. So you're being advised to, to focus. I'm getting unexpected delays. So I, you may have not expected this fallout or you may have not expected this um, relationship to go the way it went. The universe is saying there's obstacles in the way. So right now you're being advised to focus on your goals your long-term goals, play it small in this relationship, don't invest too much, and focus on your goals because there's a lot of lack. There's a need for stability. There's a need for growth. All right, so let's see what's next. What's next? Between Pau 2 and their person. Thank you. We have the nine of pentacles here in reverse. Okay, let me get one more. It's all about your self-worth. I feel like this person triggers your insecurities. All right. The eight of pentacles, all pentacles. Everything is pentacles here. Money, 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 money. All right. So they could have gotten with you because they saw you as the star with the star here being in reverse. All right. So they saw you as this star, like a hidden star or a hidden opportunity. Like they saw a lot within you. 
Mm -hmm. So what's happening next is kind of similar energies. I'm getting like, next you're focusing on yourself, your self-worth. Next, you're focusing on work. And you need to be careful with that because I'm getting an obsession or um, too much focus on work, okay? Too much focus on money and work. Um, the universe wants you to focus on healing because the star is here in reverse. I'm getting you losing passion for what you do. So that's why, especially if you're creative, okay, because I am getting you're very creative with the star coming out here, especially if you're a healer too. Take the high resonance though. But what's being shown to me is like you losing your fizzes, fizzazz, you losing your spark or you've lost your spark because I'm seeing what's next is you overworking yourself to get money or to recover because you went through some sort of loss which is understandable um but there's a lack of motivation here lack of passion lack of inspiration so the universe is saying but the universe is basically saying while you work on yourself go out there don't focus too much on work don't focus too much on lack don't focus too much on money because it's important Whatever we focus on, our thoughts are powerful. That's how you manifest the law of attraction, manifestation. What you think of, you manifest. What you focus on, you basically amplify in your life. So if you're focusing on bills, you're focusing on work, you're focusing on money, you're focusing on this situation not working out, that is exactly what the universe is going to serve you, confirmation on my phone. So you're being guided because I see what's next. I see you working hard. I see you really focused on success, really focused on um, money, overworking yourself, and then creating some sort of despair despair with the sword the the star in reverse and the nine of swords right here all right losing sleep despair conflicts arguments competition drama queen of pentacles in reverse paralysis of sex female or male all right you feeling unstable you feeling like you're not abundant like you're stressing losing sleep anxiety worry fear depression nightmares insomnia trauma this is a lot of heavy energy. So that's why. So what's next is going to be an obstacle. It's going to be on you. So what you're being guided to do is to focus on healing and focus on having fun and focus on tapping in with Mother Nature because you are connected to Mother Nature. You are the star. You connect to the stars, you connect to the moon, you connect to the sun, you connect to the water, all right? So you're being guided to reconnect to Mother Nature, to rest, to relieve yourself, focus on your stability, focus on your money, focus on you right now, because that is what's being highlighted here as your energy is coming um, out low. And so you need to refill yourself. You need to regain that energy, regain that spark, regain that inspiration. And the only way you're going to do that is by loving yourself, putting yourself as a priority. I see that you're financially independent. Some of you guys may work from home. All right. Um, I see you um, putting yourself as the main character moving forward. There's a lot of jealousy here. Like people are jealous. People want you to fall. And if like you play on this or fall into this like competition, rivalry, low vibrational energy. Com like, yeah, it's a whole lot of competition. If you play on this, then your ops will be successful. But if you don't focus on this and you focus on healing and doing that self-care, going to get a massage, going to do your hair, um, going for a walk, going for a swim, meditating outside, or just taking a walk. Like it's so simple. Like focusing on you, releasing negative thoughts, releasing the competition, releasing the conflicts, releasing this person for a little quick second if you can, you know, like just focus back on you. They're they they feel you're their soulmate, they're twin flame, they feel like y'all need to reconcile, but right now the energy is that they're depleting you and it's because of outside interferences. So you're being guided to focus on self so you can higher your vibration and invite abundance into your world. Because I see you wanting success. I see you wanting a lot of money. Some of you guys could be entrepreneurs or you have a side gig. You could work for yourself or you're trying to create something. All right. So you're going to be able to do that. And then some, 
but your energy needs to be full, all right? So you need to recharge is the vibe. But what's next here between you and your person is giving um despair. And I'm going to be honest, I'm a reader, is giving something not working out, you being in despair and you wanting to gain success is kind of like a... Uh, you know, revenge, resentment type of energy, like my success will be the, will be revenge, you know? And so that's what you're looking to get and you will get that. But first you got to love on you more, gain your energy and detach from all of this because soulmate, twin flame, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Those are titles, labels. What's the energy? And that's what we need to connect with. What's the energy? What is it giving me? What is it bringing me? What is it doing for my life? So far, for what I can see here, and this is a general reading, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I see that this connection here is weighing you down. This connection is taking away from you and it's not feeding you. So there's this big emphasis on you feeding yourself, okay? You feeding yourself, you loving yourself, you dedicating more time, love, and energy back to yourself. Now, let's get some advice and initials, okay? Where's my pendulum? Yeah, we're gonna do my pendulum. All right, so think of a question... And I'm going to give you that answer real quick. Okay. Okay. Um, initials. Let's do initials and then advice and guidance. What is the initials for Paul 2? All right. First, middle, last initial. This could be yours. This could be theirs. Take it how it resonates. We have N N C H G. X, V, F, Y, H, M, N, D, Y, F, B, Q, T, oh, you're so cute, <laughs> S, A, Q, P, B, X, somebody could be from the Bronx, somebody could be from New York, Ew. shout out to you, somebody could be from Boston, Mm-hmm. S Z X. Somebody could shop at Victoria's Secret. Somebody could be from Denver. I'm here in Colorado. Houston. Virginia. Where the <laughs> I'm hearing, will the real Slim Shady please stand up? Please stand up. Alright, so somebody's somebody could be like catfishing or like double ganging banging whatever like somebody could be copying you and it's like will the real person please stand up will the real slim shady please stand up please stand up all right so the universe wants you to stand up okay because you're the real one take that how it resonates Arr. okay all right so what's your advice let's get the advice out here and then think of a question. I'm going to spin the pendulum after. What's the advice for Pal 2? Thank you, Spirit. I feel like Pal 2, not for nothing, this was a confirmation for you, okay? And it, it be the twin flame connections that be the, the most difficult, all right? These connections are not easy. Twin flame connections are not easy, okay? They're meant to trigger you. They're literally designed they're designed by God, the universe source, to trigger you, to break you so you could come out of your shell and expand and grow. So that's what I feel like this connection is doing, all right? It could have broke you or it's breaking you and it's giving like growth, expansion. What's the advice for Pal 2? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah... You don't need anyone else, okay? And it's giving the crescent moon. You don't need anyone else. Realize you don't need anyone else but yourself to survive, to be happy, or to fix you. Embrace a new level of independence. Ew, I love that. 
All right, so embrace this new level of independence. You don't need nobody to make you happy. You don't need nobody to have money. You don't need nobody for nothing. Like literally, you got you. All you need is you. And the universe is saying that you're enough. And yes, we want partnerships. And yes, we want love. And yes, we want support and we want help, of course. But right now, I'm getting your learning how powerful you are and how independent you are. Okay, we have the divine feminine. All right, so this is an energy, not a sex, divine feminine energy. And then we also have here, stand your grounds. All right, so it's giving your divine feminine energy is out of balance and can leave you vulnerable. Learn to use your feminine power wisely. All right, and it looks like she's on fire. If you could see like her neck. Okay, so it's giving Phoenix vibes. So the universe wants you to um, focus on your divine feminine energies, being soft, being vulnerable, being open, being that delicate flower that you are. <laughs> that is a superpower. That is not weakness. Okay. A lot of people think that's weak. That's not weak. You know how strong you have to be to put yourself out there. You know how strong you have to be to open up and express what you've gone through and be vulnerable. There's strength in vulnerability. Okay. It doesn't take much strength to hide and act like you're a big bad wolf, but it takes a lot of strength to come out and show up, especially around a lot of wolves as a vulnerable person. That's strength. That's letting people know that you're good. You got this. You're strong. Stand your grounds. All right. So right now you're being told to stand with your 10 toes firmly on the ground. Hold your own power and never give it away. Not everyone is there to support you. All right. So again, right now it's giving like a solo journey. It's giving like you doing you, you focusing on you, you building your own world, your own empire. And then we have here bad timing. Everything will come to you at the right time time. Be patient. Your time will come. All right. So maybe you're waiting for your time, your time to shine, your time for success, your time for um, you to blossom. This is not the time for that. Right now it's about healing. The universe is not giving you the shine and isn't giving you possibly what you're manifesting because in order for you to get to the top, you got to get through this staircase. And this staircase looks kind of difficult. There's a bunch of feathers flying. The stairs are falling apart. All right. So you got to climb that ladder first and that's your healing. You got to do your healing work. There's water in the ground, all right? There's a lot going on in this picture. Mm-hmm. That's what I got for you, Pal 2, and you got this. Listen, I've been here. <laughs> I've done this. It takes time, and it's frustrating. It's annoying. It's discouraging. It, it, it puts you in a place where you feel cornered in, or you feel like the, like the universe don't got your back. You're being punished. Is karma? No. This is an awakening, all right? So you're waking up to who you truly are and how strong you truly are and the fact that you don't need a group, you don't need a person, you got you. All right, so let's ask that question though real quick before I forget. What's your question? Say it out loud, spirit. What's the answer for part two? Thank you. And don't tell part one because I didn't, I didn't do it for part one. <laughs> it says maybe. All right, so maybe I wasn't meant to do it for you, but I did it. It says maybe. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it said maybe. <laughs> maybe. Now it says definitely, but I will go with the maybe. All right, so Patu, I love you so much. If you haven't already, do subscribe, hit that bell button. I hope to see you in the next one. Let me know how you felt in the comments down below. Let's chat. And guys, I'm sending you so much love, light, and everything nice. You guys would benefit from my protection candle mm -hmm, and my healing candle. So if you need any support or help through this journey, I got you. Check out my shop, 25% off everything. I make everything. I pack everything just for you. Okay, healing and protection is what I would advise for you to get today. I love you so much. Mwah. This is bless. Hello there. How are you doing, pal three? Welcome to your reading. If you chose this card bottled up, then you are at your reading. Bless. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Let's connect. 
Woo. The energies have been strong today. Okay. Bless. All right, I'm going to use my protection mist. You can find this on my shop. List it down below. 25% off everything right now. Bless to protect us during this space and time as I do your reading. All right, now let's get it. Let's go. I'm going to give you your angel number and then we are going to get started. Bless. All kind. <laughs> Bless. All right. Holy Spirit, please come through and help me channel this message here today for Pal 3. Thank you. What's Pal 3's angel number? All right, Pal 3, you got 486. Go to your search engine, put in 486, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your first message. All right, so what is that giving us? It's giving us 18, which is 1 and 8, which is 9. Is giving a battle, is giving turbulence. There could be some sort of um, stress, anxiety, or worry about this connection, or just in general in your energy. Oh, my ear went off. Yeah, is giving stress, anxiety, um, worries. We're bottled up. This could be their energy or your energy. All right, so take that how that resonates. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else, of course. Is giving somebody holding back. I feel like. Um, their emotions, your emotions could be really bottled up at this time. Like there could be lack of clarity in this connection, which is coming off as um, a difficulty. Nonetheless, there's anxiety and stress about what are they feeling? What's going on? Like, how do I open up about what I'm feeling? How do I open up about what's going on? Um, I'm getting them holding back emotionally as well. There's some sort of avoidance here. Like, like there's a big pink elephant in the in the bedroom i don't know i'm getting the bedroom okay there's a big pink elephant in the bedroom and it's like we're not talking about it so this could be in regards to chemistry this could be in regards to the your emotions like when are you guys gonna address the big pink elephant in the bedroom okay <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting whoever you're dealing with is scared to open up, scared to speak up, scared to tell you what they're truly feeling. And you may be because they're scared and they're holding back. You may be holding back, too, because you're not sure. Like everything's being held back right now is giving holding back mm -hmm, confirmation. All right. So this is my deck. The Music Oracle Volume 3, it's available on my shop, listed down below, 25% off right now, bless, take advantage. Your songs is Talking to the Moon, Bruno Mars, which is giving me a telepathic connection that you have here with your person. Mm -hmm. And you also have Unthinkable by Alicia Keys, No Contact. So I feel like y'all not talking. Things are bottled up. Both of you guys have bottled up emotions. Both of you guys want to express, but you guys are nervous or scared or um, antsy about expressing something because you're not sure. It's like you're not sure what they're feeling. They're not sure what you're feeling. So there's this gray energy in between you guys right now, this big elephant in the room where it's here. We feel it. We see it, but we're not addressing it because... I don't know if I open up, like, will you be receptive or they're asking if they open up, will you be respect, receptive or respectful? Ooh, okay. Something about respect, rescopacity. All right. Yeah, that's significant here. So something about respecting another person's energy. All right. So you may feel like they won't respect your feelings or they won't respect what you're saying, or this is them feeling that. Take it how it resonates. We got here with Bruno Mars talking to the moon. I know you're somewhere out there, somewhere far away. I want you back. I want you back. My neighbors think I'm crazy, but they don't understand. You're all I had. You're all I had. At night when the stars light up the room, the room, this is about a room or something, like something intimate. Okay, anyway, I sit by myself talking to the moon, trying to get to you in hopes you're on the other side talking to me too. Or am I a fool who sits alone talking to the moon? Oh, oh, I'm feeling like I'm famous, the talk of the town. They say I've gone mad. Yeah, I've gone mad. But they don't know what I know. 
Because when the sun goes down and someone's talk, when the sun goes down, someone's talking back. All right. So they're feeling like they're going crazy a little bit because they feel you. They feel you. And you may feel them too. And they feel the messages that you're sending them. All right. So if you're meditating or if you're um, connecting with them in the 5D while you're sleeping, just know that they're connecting with you too. So you could be having dreams with them. Because they're having dreams with you and they feel like they're going bonkers, like they're going a little bananas. All right. And people may be telling them they're going bananas, too, because y'all are in no contact. But yet they know how you feel or they know what you want to say because you guys are saying it telepathically. Mm, that's deep. All right. But with no contact, Alicia Keys. Unthinkable. What is it? Unthinkable. Yeah, that's my song. Moment of honesty. Yeah, there's something here about being honest. All right. Moment of honesty. Someone's got to take the lead tonight. Who's it going to be? Nighttime. Bedrooms. There's something here about bedrooms, chemistry, nighttime, confirmation, possibly even sexuality. All right. So somebody got to be honest. All right. Moment of honesty. Someone's got to take the lead tonight. Who's it going to be? I'm going to sit right here and tell you all that comes to me. If you have something to say, you should say it right now. You should say it right now. You give me a feeling that I never felt before and I deserve it. I think I deserve it. It's becoming something impossible to ignore. The elephant in the room. <laughs> and I can't take it. I was wondering, maybe could I make you my baby? If we do the unthinkable, would it make us look crazy again? There's something here about y'all being both crazy for each other and y'all being together is something crazy. Anyway, if you ask me, I'm ready. If you ask me, I'm ready. Okay, so um, we have Lady Gaga bad romance underneath that. So there's there could have been something karmic or there could have been some sort of karma in this connection. All right. So you guys are not talking is what I'm getting, but you guys are talking and that's why they feel crazy. Like they're telling people like, all right, I'm not talking about three, but I know, I know what pow three feels. I know what pow three wants. I know what pow three wants to say to me because I'm getting those messages telepathically. I have a connection with pow three that I cannot explain. So people are probably like, you crazy, all right? Like, what do you mean you, you hear pow three? What do you mean pow three's in your dreams? Like, I think you're going crazy, babes, <laughs> all right? Like, this is what people are saying, or this is the energy they're getting off of their friends, their family members, those who are who they are opening up to about you. Um, something crazy could have happened between y'all, but they're definitely holding a lot of what they feel inside for you right now in their heart. And it's giving like a soda, like it's being shaken up, like something's shaking them up right now. And they feel like they need, they're like, either they're gonna, or they need to explode. Like they have to release something. It's, it's so passionate. I'm telling you, it's so passionate. They have to release something. They want to let it out. They want to let it be known. They know they're not freaking crazy. They know you feel the same way. Like, what is it? <laughs> All right, let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> For real, that's what I'm getting here. There could have been like a painful ending between you two. All right, Holy Spirit. I'm getting someone here could be an entrepreneur or um, have their own business or be very successful, possibly um, have a lot of clout or just be well off financially. Take that how it resonates. But I'm getting somebody here with, with that type of energy, like financially independent, all right? So they feel like you don't need them, you want them, or yeah, that's what they're getting in the messages. Like, I know Pau 3 wants me because I want Pau 3, but it's not just because I want Pau 3 that I feel like Pau 3 wants me. It, Pau 3 is telling me spiritually they want me. <laughs> all right, so what's um, Pau 3's person's... Energy right now, overall, what's their overall energy? We have the five of pentacles in reverse. All right. It's giving recovery right now. And the 55, five of pentacles in reverse, five of cups in reverse. Right now, your person's in recovery mode. Their energy is 
I'm recovering. There's something here about their finances. So maybe they took a hit financially. Maybe they lost some money or there was some sort of poor investment, you know. Um, also, they're recovering spiritually. For a minute there, they may have lost faith or they may have disconnected from the divine. But right now, they're recovering everything. That's what your person's energy is right now. It's a spiritual recovery, a financial recovery, an emotional recovery. There's so much recovery happening right now in your person's energy. All right. They're moving past the past, if that makes sense. They're accepting whatever happened between you and them. And they're accepting it not as a loss, but as a lesson. All right. So it was an L. But it's a lesson, not a loss, is the way they're they're taking it. And that's good. They're being positive about what happened between you two. I'm seeing that your person right now, Paul 3, is finding peace, all right? They're finding peace in what happened between you and them. There was some sort of personal setbacks, all right? So them losing you or you guys separating from each other during that space and time, they took some sort of personal setback. This could have been emotionally or financially or spiritually. I feel overall, overall, they took a, a, a hit, all right? The separation, because I'm getting no contact, the separation between you and them it hit them hard, where they they suffered emotionally, mentally, financially, in every way, yeah, in every way, shape, or form, they took a hit with the separation, and they're, like, forgiving themselves is what I'm getting, like, they're acknowledging their part in the situation, and they're acknowledging your part, and they're finding peace in their heart and soul, and they're learning how to forgive themselves, because for a minute there... I feel like they were beating themselves up. Yeah, my nose went off. All right, so what is Pau 3's energy in this connection? Thank you. We have Taurus coming out here, very strong. Strongest energy thus far, Taurus. All right, so you have Taurus in your chart, or they can. All right, in your energy, we have here the King of Cups in reverse. Regardless of sex, female or male, that's an energy. And we have the four of cups in reverse. All right. There's a lot going on right now emotionally for you, Pau 3, for both parties. But now that I'm solely focusing on you and your energy, um, you feel like they emotionally manipulated you. Like they pulled on your love strings. They pulled on your heart. Like they knew that you had love for them and they may have, um, taken advantage of that. Like they took advantage of your heart. They took advantage of you in some way, shape or form because you had love for them. So I see right now, overall, you're cold. All right. It's giving my ice box. What is it? I'm hearing it. Omarion. Somebody could be from the West coast. I have an icebox where my heart used to be. <laughs> okay, I'm so cold, I'm so cold, I'm so cold, I'm so cold. All right, so that's your vibe right now. It's giving your cold, your cold. You're feeling cold. You're like not really interested in investing in romantic pursuits right now. You're not really invested in um, emotionally open up, opening up to someone right now because you feel like Someone took advantage of your heart. Someone took advantage of you emotionally. You may have listened to some bad advice, all right? There was something here, or they did. Somebody here listened to bad advice is what I'm getting, okay? Right now, your energy is giving me moody. Like, you're moody. Um, it's giving temperamental. It's giving, like, you're just not in the mood for bullshit. You're not in the mood for love right now. You went through it. You're going through it, and... Right now, you're working on your inner world. You're working on your heart. You're working on your connection to source. All right, with the Four of Cups being here in reverse, this situation um, awakened you. I'm getting a wake-up call, and I'm getting that it was sudden, all right? So this could be recent, or this could be like in the past. It could have resonates, but I'm getting like when it happened, it was a sudden awareness. Like, oh, what? a word oh really like oh i didn't know we were getting down like that you know like something became clear to you about a third party situation um third party situations are friends family members um it could be another lover all right take that how it resonates on who the third party person is but i'm getting that you became suddenly aware of someone outside this connection affecting the connection. And your person may have made a bad decision because of a 
external person. Um, I see right now you're choosing happiness. You're like, I'm not really focusing on romance right now. I'm focusing on happiness, me being happy. So in the love department is giving icebox. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I'm so cold, you know, but when it comes to you in general, it's like, I'm choosing me. I'm choosing happiness. I'm choosing to love myself first. All right. It's giving you accepting the past. It's giving you um like coming to a realization that it takes two to tangle. And you had some part, they had some part, but you know, this is out of your control is what it's giving. And you're accepting that. Like, I can't, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? It is what it is. I see you retreating. Your energy is far away from this person. All right. It's giving you retreating, you distancing yourself, you not really connecting and it's on purpose. All right. Because you want to realign. It's like you want to reconnect with yourself. You want to fall in love with yourself again. So you may feel like you lost a piece of yourself or you lost yourself in the midst of this relationship. Okay. So, but you are bottled up too with that King of Cups coming here in reverse. So both of you guys are going through this um, phase, this kind of like, it's kind of mirroring if you ask me. You guys are both going through this phase. You're both going through this moment where you guys are accepting y'all parts in what happened here, even though there was outside interference in the connection. All right. Friends, family members, exes, other people, whoever. Okay. But it didn't just, it wasn't just between you and them. It was you, them, and some other people. Okay. Show me, um, Pau three's person's feelings for Pau three. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. You may be doing something right now to get some sort of emotional reaction too, is what I'm getting. All right. So even though you're, you have retreated, even though you're disconnected, even though you're not connecting confirmation, all right, it's giving like you're, you may be doing something though to trigger them to see if they will emotionally react is giving manipulation. Okay. But in a healthy way, I guess, I don't know. Take that how you resonate, how it resonates. All right. We have here, um, your feelings right now is a seven of cups. You don't really know. You don't really know what you want right now is giving, is giving like, you're thinking, this is giving wishful thinking, this is giving, um, you trying to just see through the smoke in a sense, like you feel like things are gray, again, that gray area, yeah, this is giving that gray area, look at all that smoke, all right, it's giving gray, it's giving smoke, it's giving you searching for your purpose, it's, it's just giving you on this solo journey, really focusing on yourself, daydreaming, kind of like, what if, like, like, kind of like creating scenarios in your mind, all right, what if I give this person another chance, what if I give these other folks a chance, because I'm getting that there are a lot of people that are interested in you, Pau 3, all right, whether you're giving them your energy or not, because I see you kind of not, like, you're more focused on you, but the options are on the table, so you're like, mm, what if, what if, what if, you're a little confused right now is what it's giving, you're like, oh, I'm not sure, all right, your mind hasn't been made up completely about how you feel about this situation, you're just kind of like going with the flow in a sense, what is um, Pau 3's person's feelings in regards to Pau 3? You feel kind of they're confused too. You feel like they're a confusing person. Like they confuse you. Like they create smoke. You feel like they do this on purpose. You may also feel like they have a lot of options. And therefore you're like um, doing some sort of emotional manipulation where you're like, um, yeah, I ain't one of them. <laughs> I'm not one of them, okay? I'm over, I'm all the way far over here. It's cold, honey. Burr, get your coat out, okay? <laughs> all right, their feelings is temperance in reverse. Is giving Sagittarius, okay? All right, so we have, we have Scorpio here coming out strong. We have Cancer, Pisces coming out too. A little Aquarius as well. All right, so with temperance coming out here in reverse... They don't feel balanced right now. So what do they feel for you? They feel like things are out of whack. 
all right with you they feel like there's extreme highs and there's extreme lows so when things are great with you oh boy they are great all right it's giving tony the tiger great okay they're great but when things are down it's giving things are like really bad all right like it's like why do I exist type of energy, like for real. Um, so right now there's a lot of questions in their energy. Right now they do feel really down and out and they're using, they're trying to heal, right? But the way they're trying to heal is 50-50. It's like a part of them is healing spiritually and then a part of them is using either weed, liquor, um, food or some sort of like bad habit to cope with their emotions because it's not easy for them to um, release and process what happened here between you and them. It hit home. It hit home. They're just trying to realign themselves. They feel like you're an angel, but sometimes you may also be a devil, okay? <laughs> With the temperance in reverse here. They feel like you're an angel, but you could be a devil too. Some They feel like maybe um you're doing things right now to like numb your feelings as well, all right? Maybe they're just mirroring that to you, but they feel that way about you. All right, so what's the hidden factor? What's the hidden factor here between Pau 3 and their person, this connection? We have the sun, Whoa. Okay. That's giving um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Hierophant in reverse. There could be a marriage here or a divorce. It's giving a divorce. Something's about to be highlighted. You're going to find out about a separation, a divorce. Maybe this is what's going on here. All right. Take that how that, hurt, how that resonates. But I'm getting like what's hidden is that Y'all point of views are very, very, very different. The way you see love, the way they see love um, is very different. There's a lot of unexpected events that are about to occur here. I see positive change, all right? So the universe wants you to that. <laughs> the universe wants you to know that there's a lot of positive change coming. It's giving a rebirth. So you guys, the hidden factor... I feel like in this connection right now is that this is a divine union and you guys were put in each other's path to push each other to the limit and push each other to have an ego death and rebirth so you guys can expand and ascend, okay? Um, I'm getting someone going against the grain though. It was foolish of them. All right, so I'm getting like, what's being hidden is that they know, all right, but I feel like this person went against the grain, did something foolish because they had some sort of blind faith in a situation. Like they thought something was really going to pop off. They thought something was really going to be successful. So they blindly invested or blindly went towards something and freed themselves in order to pursue that personal goal but it's going against the grain. So I feel like whatever they were pursuing, it went against y'all connection and it went against um, traditional relationships. So it's something unconventional. Whatever they went for is something unhealthy, but it was a lesson for both parties is what I'm seeing. yeah. All right, so... I'm also getting a divorce, all right? Something's going to be highlighted about a divorce or a separation and as to why. All right, clarify the advice here between um, Pau 3 and their person. What advice does Pau 3 need to hear? The devil, Capricorn. There's a lot of unhealthy energies here in this connection with the Nine of Cups. is giving self-pleasure, is giving obsession it's giving shadow work all right so the universe is advising you to focus on your dreams your goals your wishes because you are going to make them 
um, happen, okay? Is is giving you manifesting your blessings and your manifestations coming into fruition, which is good. The universe is giving you advice to be grateful for what you do have. You have a lot more coming in, which is good, but be grateful for what you do have especially when it comes to your stability. Right now, your advice in this connection is to focus on yourself, focus on what you want, focus on healthy things because it's giving with the devil that um, there's an attachment. And when we love, we need to love freely and we need to feel free in love. All right, so the universe is telling you to detach from this person as it's not healthy. There's some sort of unhealthy... Um, energy, unhealthy habits, unhealthy connection, unhealthy thought processes, like something's really unhealthy, codependency, toxicity, all right, so it may feel really good, but is it healthy for you, all right, like ice cream tastes really good, but is it healthy to eat ice cream every day, uh, like a bulk load of ice cream, or is it like junk food, junk food is delicious, but is it healthy to eat junk food every day and skip your veggies, no, that's not healthy for you, so even though we could do it, but what comes out of that? You gain weight, you, your health declines, you know, like there's consequences to um, participating or in doing things that are unhealthy for us. So right now your advice is to detach and to create healthy boundaries in this connection because it's not healthy for you at this moment. At this moment, it's not healthy to be connected to this person and focus on your goals and your dreams because that is coming into fruition is what's being told, okay? So focus on that because you're, you're manifesting a lot. You're manifesting clarity, confirmation, but you're also manifesting some wishes coming true, dreams coming true for you. So the universe is saying, babe, focus on that. Trust me, focus on that. All right, <laughs> What's next between Pau 3 and their person, though? Yeah, confirmation. Two confirmations. We have the tower here in reverse. I feel like, not for nothing, Pau 3, you are dodging a bullet, all right? And I say that in the kindest way possible, all right? So you're dodging um, a you're dodging some sort of disaster, destruction, okay? Six of Pentacles. All right, so let's see. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you are dodging a big financial loss. All right, so it's giving here. What's next? All right, so you were removed from this person, this situation, this relationship. You want to know why? Because one is unhealthy. It's unhealthy for you emotionally. And when our heart chakra is closed, we are not attracting anything into our world. And I'm getting they closed your heart. So you're reopening your heart is what I'm getting, okay? And also the universe is saying, babe, you dodged a bullet. T Tower in reverse. God is about to show you what you dodged. If you haven't seen it already, God is about to show you, okay? Right now, um, you're going through a personal transformation. You are. You're awakening. You're transforming. There's going to be some fears with change, but you're doing it. I'm getting that there's a storm coming, but it's not coming to you. It's coming to this person, all right? So you're going to see something. I, I, a lot is about to be revealed to you, all right? There's going to be suffering. There's going to be disasters. There's going to be delays but not for you and that's the good thing all right i'm getting that they are scared to change they're attached addicted to certain things people or places that are extremely unhealthy for them and so god the universe is about to reveal what that is one and two is about to serve some karma unfortunately but it's so that they could learn a lesson let's you know let's realize that we all talk about karma and most people not all of us right because i'm not going to say all but most people talk about karma like if karma is the bad guy karma is not the bad guy karma is the mirror right karma is just reflecting back what you're doing in a different way tone or in a different way so you could learn about your own shadows or you could learn about what um you've done okay it's a lesson it's a teacher and it's giving you a grade so did you pass the test this is your grade and i'm getting that they're getting an f all right they didn't pass the test they're getting an f um something about teaching so i feel like this was a lesson for sure somebody could be a teacher all right with the six of pentacles being here 
I'm getting that you have abundance, unexpected abundance coming in, moving forward next. All right. And I'm getting that they have Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Six of Swords in reverse. They're going to be stuck. There's some sort of divorce here. Or if this is not a divorce, this is like an empire falling apart, a family going through some sort of crisis. All right. It's giving lack, lack of stability, foreclosure, losing homes, um, lack of resources, lack of money, losing a job. This is big L's, big losses. Yeah, because they don't want to change. So there's something here about this person not wanting to change, baby. And because they don't want to change, this lesson is unfinished for them, finished for you. And I see them in some sort of emotional baggage. All right. So they have a big laundry bag full of drama, yeah, I don't know what that was, but confirmation. Something hit my window. All right. Yeah, you're going to see it with the window. Yep. I don't know what that is, but something hit my window. Yeah, that part. With the Eight of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles, you're working towards, regardless of sex, female or male, you're working towards stability, financial stability. All right. I see you like focus, like you got your head in the books or you got you got your head at work like this. You're like the horse with the, the blinders on the side. They put confirmation on my phone and it's by better me. All right. They're, you know, they put those blinders on the side of horses so that they don't get distracted. Right. Because um, horses, when they get distracted, they could like um, just go the other way. There's something here about horses. Maybe somebody like horses. I don't know. Whatever. They, they get distracted. They'll go wherever the distraction is. And if you're trying to get somewhere, that is not like really good for you when you're riding the horse. Right. So I'm getting that you have these blinders on on the side of your face so that you're not distracted by what's going on. You're like solely focused on your goals, your dreams, your endeavors, your finances, your stability, your money is giving wealth. All right. You are mastering some sort of skill. You are developing a skill and I'm getting you getting some sort of reputation for being really good at whatever it is that you do. Point blank, period. Okay. And it's happening fast. All right. So there's some fast success coming in for you. Okay. And it's because of hard work. It's not like you didn't earn this. You did earn it. All right. And with the Six of Pentacles, this is giving the universe, giving you your good karma for the good you, confirmation, for the good you have done for others. So you've helped a lot of people. And this is your good karma coming in. All right. Um, initials let's do initials and then we're gonna do advice and we're gonna do the pendulum so if you have a question think about it now say it later all right hold up initials for pal three thank you all right first middle last initial this could be yours this could be theirs take it how it resonates all right we have k o f z x t F, I'm getting twin flame. Twin flames do trigger each other, you know? That's a very triggering relationship. Um, it's very deep, very loving. It's awakening, but it's very triggering too. D-N, S-U-E. Somebody could be suing somebody or there could be like some sort of legal matters or legalities or something. Or somebody's name is Sue. All right, we have A-C. Somebody could be from Atlantic City or California. We have Y E, Yay, like Kanye. Somebody could have Yeezys or like Yeezy the brand. Um, or you could be Kanye. <laughs> we have S D. All right. Um, y Q O T. Yeah, you may be working overtime. Yeah, your hard work is about to pay off. Um, something about FaceTime or Fox News, okay? LG, somebody could have like an LG phone or LG devices. All right, we have R A Y Ray. All right, somebody's name could be Ray with the T here. Somebody could have been a snitch, a rat. All right, something about a rat. All right, L S F. Somebody could be from Florida, South Carolina, H A U D, had. Something is past tense, all right? 
hey, maybe somebody's going to say hey in a day. Something about a day and a hey. It's going to be sunny like Ray. What? <laughs> Take that how that resonates, okay? Let's do advice, and then we're going to do your pendulum. Oh, man. I'll pick that up in a second. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. They want advice from here, too. All right. So what's the advice for Pal 3? Thank you, Spirit. Advice for Pal 3. Compromise. All right. So I'm getting balance. Right now, it's all about compromising. Right now, it's all about balance. Mm -hmm. So you're regaining your balance and it's happening through your heart. We have forgiveness. Yes. As you forgive, you become more balanced. Forgiveness, balance. And then we have remain positive because your feast is coming. Your ancestors want you to remain positive, sweetheart. All right. Let's see what else you have for advice. Advice for Pal 3. Thank you, Spirit. Advice for Pal 3. Li <laughs> Give less fucks, okay? Give less fucks, all right? Fuck that. Fuck this. Fuck you. <laughs> the less you give a fuck, the happier you will be, all right? So care less. Care less about what people have to say. Care less about um, what people think. Do you, all right? The less you care, the more happier you are, all right? Because you probably be up in your head thinking on negative and stuff, possibly about debt, other things. Like, stop it, all right? Stop thinking about the negative. Think about the positive. Remember, your thoughts manifest. So if you're thinking negative, you're going to attract that. The universe doesn't know the difference. I mean, it does, but it doesn't know what you want, okay? The universe knows what you're thinking and will manifest that for you. So keep that in mind. Negative thinking, it says here, unfounded negative thoughts are very worth being aware of. All right. So be aware of what you think about. All right. Care less. I feel like you think a lot. All right. You're always in your head. All right. Get out of your head. Get in your heart. Give less fucks. Fuck it. You know, you about to bounce back, baby. All right. Right now it's all about your bounce back. You bouncing back, all right? You getting your groove back. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Don't give up. All is not lost. Get back up and keep trying, all right? Some of y'all could be dancers, or this is you getting your balance back, all right? Don't give up. You about to bounce back and take care of yourself, okay? Because you're being told to get a massage, all right? Get a massage, Put yourself out there. You deserve to be pampered. Make your appointment this week. All right. So go get your hair done. Go get your nails done. Go get your shape up. Go get your massage done. Um, I don't know. Go order that that meal you want. Whatever. Spoil yourself. Treat yourself. Love yourself. Because who else but you right now? Okay. Bless. All right, guys. I love you so much. I really do. I hope I helped you in any way, shape, or form. Let me know by giving me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, do subscribe. Hit that bell button. Thank you so much. I appreciate that in advance. My OGs, you already know what time it is. I'm sending y'all love, light, and everything nice. I love y'all so, so, so much. I hope to see you in the comments in the next one. And if you want to join me for Tuesday or Thursday's live, um, you could join the list. I'm going to post most likely tomorrow the details on um, submitting for those lives because I want to make sure that I honor everyone. Some people fall asleep. I don't want people waiting. You could just look back and like, you know, get your reading and everything will be by number, not by name, even though I'll have everything listed down. So I'll, I'll let you guys know about that. But for now, I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. This is blood.